What's going on everybody? Today I want to talk about Artificial Island as well as Claudia potentially and everything that we're going to get on September 15th. Super excited. Let's get into it. All right, so I want to go ahead and dive into the trailer behind us as well as some information that we may or may not know as well as some speculation as well. Before we jump into that though, I want to mention all of you out there that watch my videos, about 97% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying to get to that 1K mark, so if you want to help me out and you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that sub button. It does help me out a lot. But let's go ahead and jump into this trailer and talk about a few things that I'm actually just super excited about. Obviously, the map is super, super cool. Claudia, right off the bat, is just walking in. I imagine she's going to be the next banner. That is speculation. We don't know for sure. There's going to be a ton of new summons um, and all that type of resources on the map itself. And I'll go ahead and showcase the locations of that soon. Um, Claudia is going ahead and jumping into the map here. And we're going to get new bosses um, as well as new ways to obtain certain SSR matrices from these bosses. And then honestly, the thing that I'm most excited about, which is going to come up next in this trailer, it's not for everyone. That's going to be build your own housing super super excited about this you're gonna run around the map collect resources and then build up your home here and customize it super super excited about this um, i can't stress that enough it's not for everyone but uh definitely something that i've always enjoyed uh between you know construction skill and runescape or um you know just building your house in any sort of game super super excited about this now the trailer looks super exciting you can see claudia's right on the front picture I think she's going to be in the next banner. I don't see why it wouldn't be or she wouldn't be. It seems very, very obvious to me. Cobalt is nowhere in here. Maybe we'll be surprised and Cobalt is the next banner. I highly doubt it. I'm going to say my money is on Claudia being next. Now, I do want to go over a couple things uh, in the Chinese server that may or may not be transferred over to the global version. Keep in mind that this, because this is the Chinese version, this is speculation to some degree. But I imagine the systems will remain relatively the same. The rates and all that stuff may not. So the first thing I want to mention is the artificial island construction. You can see here you're going to run around and pick up material drops from the island itself and then use those to go ahead and build up your house. Super, super cool kind of system here. On top of this, there's actually matrices here uh, from the artificial island that we can obtain soon. Uh, and this is going to be from certain world bosses that are going to be added to the game. On top of that, from the Chinese version, the drop rates actually are a little bit higher. Uh, again, this could be completely changed. And let me see if I can go ahead and find this. World boss drop rates. Um, I believe it is down here because we're going to get the uh, Frostfire Dragon, I believe. Um, and you can see here the random SSR uh, weapon is 1.5% drop rate compared to like Lucia Sobek 1.4%. Um, these drop rates are lower. So that is something to know. However, keep in mind that the matrices themselves uh, associated with these certain world bosses are going to be much, much different um, than the ones that we currently have. Now, some of them could be potentially really, really amazing. And some of them could potentially be really, really poor uh, in terms of matrix quality. So you have to decide whether or not you want to go for that extra chance for your SSR or if you want to go for the matrix itself. Keep in mind, this could be changed when it comes to global version. So before you start dumping all your yellow chips, just give us some time to go ahead and figure it out if you're relying on these extra drop rate. Extreme caution here. Don't go ahead and just use them all right away. The other thing I want to mention is the map itself. So this is what's going to look like, uh, presumably, if it no changes to the map. And I see, I'm pretty sure that this is going to relatively stay the same. I don't see why the, the map itself would be changed. Um, but overall, you'll see here that the uh, actual map itself has a ton of uh, things on the map. Let me just go ahead and just activate some of these things. This is what the map looks like. You can see all these supply pods, the supply pod two versions, gold nuclei, black nuclei. These are going to be massive, massive bonuses, especially for your free to play players. It's going to probably get you about halfway through a pity. So about 30, 40 summons is what I'm looking at here in terms of gold nuclei and then black nuclei. It's probably about 50 to 80. I'm not sure. Uh, there's actually quite a bit here. So super, super excited for this. A bunch of resources gained and especially if you are the type of player that's kind of finished everything in the game already in terms of exploration pushing and you're just afk farming mounts it's going to be a nice injection of resources so that's really really cool again 
Some of the stuff is speculation, as I mentioned. So just keep that in mind when you're determining what you want to do for the future. All that stuff is most likely coming to the game um, with the addition of the announcement from Twitter. And it's going to come September 15th. Let me know if you're excited for it. Again, if you did enjoy the content and you want to check out more updates, especially for the 15th uh, Artificial Island and me exploring it, be sure to sub. It'll help me out. Again, thank you all, and I will see you for the next one.